I want to talk a little bit about something that obviously goes hand in hand with baseball, and that is barbecue. It's just kind of a summer staple, and since baseball is all about summer and barbecue is all about summer, it's a perfect combination for us here on Sonoran Living. And we thought we would uh, avoid heating up the kitchen in your home and send you out to the grill with the help of Tony Morales with Desert Smoke Barbecue, giving us a couple recipes to get through the next couple of months. Definitely. And I love the name of this first one. Welcome to the show. Good to see you again. Great to see you as well. A Sonoran brat. A Sonoran brat. I everybody, like it. everybody does brats for tailgating, for baseball games, for barbecue inside and outside. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap a little. Uh, it's our take on a on a Sonoran dog. Wrap a little bacon with uh, uh, in a in a brat. And this is not your ordinary bacon. This <laughs> is the stuff that really. I mean, this is what you Absolutely. write home about. This Look is at extra that. thick. It's applewood smoked bacon. Ooh. If you can hand me up those, some of those toothpicks over there. Oh. Um, what did I do with them? Sorry, they're right here. I was going to say, wait a minute. I don't see them over there. Okay, so let's pull these up here. What made you come up with this, and why do these flavors work real good together? I mean, obviously, bacon is good with anything and everything. Anything with bacon is delicious. Um, I like Sonoran dogs. There's a little place on Indian School that I pick up Sonoran dogs all the time. It's a little stand. Uh, they wrap uh, hot dogs and bacon and add all kinds of different Mexican condiments, which are just amazing. Um, for baseball or football, I kind of like to be able to either cook inside or outside on the grill. And it just bratwurst, everyone loves. Bacon, everyone loves. All the toppings, it just works really well together. Okay. So you just kind of wrap it on around. There's no there's not There's not a way. wrong way to do yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's my kind of cooking. The only way I use the, the only reason I use the, uh, the two toothpicks is so that when you're frying it, the bacon stays together. Okay. Because you want that bacon on there. Now you don't have to do this in a deep fryer. I just happen to have one because I have a problem at Sur La Table, but <laughs> that's a whole nother story. That's a whole nother story. That's we can, a whole we probably show. have like a, a life coach or a therapist that can help walk you through that addiction. <laughs> um, you can do this in Dutch oven, just any heavy pan with oil on your stove. You can actually put this on your grill if you want to do it that way or put a pan on the grill. Uh -huh. Just give it a good little wrap. All right. There we go. You're going to set them here in the fryer basket. I already have one going here. There you go. This one's ready to go whenever you're Sweet. ready. Sweet. And I'll share this with you. <laughs> there you go. And you drop that on into the oil. Now, adding the oil, is, is that going to give it a crispier exterior? Um, it does. Well, a couple things it's going to do. It's going to make it super juicy. Okay. You're going to sear the outside immediately. You're going to keep all the juice inside. You're going to cook it from the outside in, which is what you want to do anyway. Uh -huh. um, you're going to get a nice pop when you bite into it, oh. which is the best thing. Okay. All the juice is going to just explode in your mouth. That bacony goodness, the bacon's going to be nice and crisp. Um, we're going to go ahead and... And meanwhile, is there other prep that we should do, you know, if we're doing this at home while this is kind of... And how long would we want that in there, by the way? Uh, you're going to do this until the bacon's crispy. So you're going to cook it for about three minutes, uh, three to five minutes, depending okay. on your temperature. Now, I'm at 375 degrees. So if you're at 375 degrees, about three to five minutes is perfect. Okay. But you're going to know it's done. You're going to know it's done when the bacon is crispy and the, the, uh, the broth's a little dark. Okay. Uh, while we're doing this, uh, you're going to want to have uh, some tomatoes, some sour cream, maybe a little green chili, some shredded cheese. Have your bun ready. Oh, geez. This looks so good. <laughs> it looks delicious. The, kind of the unexpected for me here is, is this. Is this going on it as well? Oh, yeah. Chopped tomatoes are great on it. It's just like a, a refreshing kind of... It's that whole kind of nacho-y feel. Ah, got it. I'm with This you really is a, a quasi-Mexican dish. Okay. Now, so, um, let's talk a little bit about uh, Desert Smoke Barbecue. Yes. You guys make really great business out of amazing barbecue. Tell me the secrets, uh, you know, t to really your success. Well, this all started off as just making sauces, which is something that I've always loved to do. Uh, making sauces for barbecue, I've always loved to cook. Um, I actually work in a barbecue restaurant as the chef there. Um, and actually through social media. Really? I, mean, I, I have no advertising budget. I have no advertising. Everything is social media, so Facebook and Twitter. I um, think when people catch on to a good thing in town, it's impossible not to grow. Because the word of mouth is, is huge. When people go, you've got to swing by. You've got to try this. You've got to do that. You know, I, it, I really love the fact that Phoenix is so, has so embraced. Oh, is that it? That's it. Look at that. He's talking about the crispy bacon and then the dark on the outside of the brat. The toothpicks are there, there just so that it stays on. Yep. Let's I'm gonna build bring this, this out. bad mama jama. 
flip that over. Now, is there a barbecue sauce involved in this at all? Or? Uh, I'm going to put a little barbecue sauce on it at the end, just because barbecue sauce goes on everything. <laughs> of course it does. I was a little bit surprised to think that maybe it was just these condiments. No, come on now. You should know I know, I know that. you better than that, Tony. I do. And so look to how build that's it. so crispy right there. Oh, my goodness. We're going to take our plate. We're going to put our Sonoran dog right in the middle, our Sonoran brat right in the middle. I'm going to bring this over to you. Okay. And you're going to start with... Ah! You start with just a little sour cream. Okay. Let's do this. Yeah. Throw a little bit, just a, just a little dollop. Yeah, just a nice little dollop. Okay. Right in the middle or the right, kind of like... Right in the middle or all over. This is the cool thing is that you can kind of do it however you want. Okay. Well, we'll do it. Here, let's do it this way. Okay. Right there. I'll take that toothpick out in a second. All right. It's not as pretty as yours would be. I know. <laughs> I recognize it. Everybody's going, Stephanie, he does it so much better. But you know what the cool thing about it is? You throw some cheese on it and no one will ever notice. Okay. I like a little green chili. My tummy's growling. Can you hear it? <laughs> is that what that sound is? <laughs> really I thought we were doing something wrong. <laughs> some tomato. The hard-boiled egg, just one hard-boiled egg did not go far enough today. Yeah, but you knew I was going to be here, so I you're did. all good. I did, so I was like, hey, you know what? Breakfast will be served soon enough. And some chips. Oh my goodness gracious. Because really you have to have chips. And the last little bit of perfection. Got to have a little barbecue sauce. Now where can we pick up the barbecue sauce by the way? Um, Whole Foods, you know, any Valley Whole Foods, Oakville Grocery Store, or Oakville Grocery Company, Lucy's Healthy Marketplace, uh, Phoenix Public Market downtown. <laughs> oh look at that. I almost wish that I could get like, I could see my viewers right now because I know that they're probably <laughs> looking at it going, oh my goodness. I'd love to see the drool coming off of their mouths. You don't have smell vision here at Sonoran Living? Oh, it's, it's coming next week. Okay. Next week. All right, so this is the first recipe that we wanted to share with you. And then coming up next, what are we going to cook? Uh, next, we're going to do a, uh, a stuffed burger. Everyone loves burgers. They work on the grill. They work tailgating anywhere you're at. We're going to stuff it with cotija cheese and green chilies. Fantastic.